Well, Tony Blair, welcome back. Now, allegedly, this passenger was uh, threatening the Alaska Airlines ticket agents, and he threatened to do body harm. And the LAX airport police were called there, and he had warrants. I couldn't believe it. This guy has warrants uh, allegedly for domestic violence, so let's addition. So he'll be taken to a uh, local hospital for his medication, and then he'll be taken to the state the warrants uh, is out of. It's the NCIC, the National Crime Information Center. If you have any kind of warrant, all the states are linked up to one database. They run you on the LA uh, database, but also on the NCIC. So always be good to the ticket agents because they can do you harm. A lot of folks complain about the sound, but I cannot get that close. It's an airport, not a TV show, and I just try to bring you the coverage that, that I can get without interfering with the cops do. And uh, that's about it. But uh, hopefully this guy gets the help he needs. Here is the video. call on CIT crisis intervention team he claims he doesn't have any medication call came up with a scanner that he was yelling and screaming at the ticket agents and threatening them with bodily harm so they call in the LA Airport for police.
I just gave his ID. They're going to do, uh, do a uh, code 10, find out if he has any warrants on him. Who says? Huh? Who says? Is that is that a law or something going on in here? Is that a law, Miss? We're going to take him as a 5150, a date him to himself and others. Uh, he claims he didn't take his medication in a few weeks. Okay, they call for the CIT, the crisis intervention team. They train to deal with the mentally ill, but they're on another call right now, so a unit will come and take him to a local facility. A lot of times it's UCLA, UCLA Harbor. Okay, it's coming back now. They did a uh, background check on them. Let's see what it... He has a warrant. He has some warrants for uh, uh, domestic violence, full extradition. So he would be going, I guess, for, to the, for the warrants at this point. Because normally uh, when they run you and it's a warrant, sometimes it's uh, full extradition, sometimes it's not full extradition. So they're going to take it probably on the warrants.
but uh, they want them. They want them. Full, ex- full expedition. Sometimes it's limited expedition. Sometimes they don't, they don't want you to come back to the state, so they won't come get you. So if you don't know, they have a NCIC, the National Crime Information Center. Uh, when they run you, they run you on the California uh, database. Also, they run you on the National Crime Information Center. And uh, all of the states are linked up to one database. So anywhere you, you get a crime, any warrant you have to do up in the USA, it will come up on the NCIC. Okay, this is the LAX supervisor, the sergeant. He has to come and make sure the uh, arrest is legit, basically. Uh, I don't get it when you have a warrant. This guy's violent, too, allegedly, on the background check. But uh, why would you make a scene and threaten uh, uh, Alaska employees when you have a uh, felony bench warrant on you? The officer here, I think about a year and a half ago, Rich the Kid, the rapper, was arrested with a firearm at a TSA checkpoint at Terminal 2. And he was the one that walked him out. That one actually made the news because he was a rapper. You get any celebrity getting arrested, that's going to make national news. So the sergeant is telling him uh, what's going to happen. He go to the uh, the mental facility for his medication, and then he'll be taken to LAPD Pacific Division, and then brought back where his want his warrant is from. That's a walk of shame at this point. But any man that beats his wife up allegedly comes to an airport making uh, terrorist threats to the uh, ticket agents. I just spoke to the uh, Alaska uh, ticket agent. He apologized for the woman telling me I couldn't record in public. A lot of folks don't know. I try to record from a distance. I don't. Uh, uh, cause any trouble at the airport. I try to stay low key. That's why we closed the cell phone. But this is a walk of shame. Okay. Okay, folks. Uh, I guess the uh, the car's at the airfield, so this is going to be it. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in, and uh, hopefully see you guys on the next one.